Hi, for this video, what I want to talk to you about is how do you list all the distinct subsets of a set? Um, remember to find the number of distinct subsets, you would do two to the nth power. So for this one, because of the fact that we have three elements, two to the third power is two times two times two, which is eight. So when we are listing out the distinct subsets, we know if we have them all, if we have eight um, different sets written down. So what we are going to do is because we are looking for just distinct subsets, this includes the original set. So 379 is considered a subset. It's not a proper subset, but it is a subset. So you would always start in listing distinct subsets with the original set. You would then move down to one less than what you originally started with. So we started with three elements. So what we would want to do now is list all the combinations we can of two elements. So I would start with the three and the seven. I don't put seven and three because it contains the same um, elements. So we would not put three, seven, and seven, three. That's why we're looking for distinct. They have to be different. They have to have at least one number different. So we can pair three with seven, and then we can pair the three with the nine. And there are no other combinations that I can make with the three because I've already used the three with the seven and the three with the nine. So then the only other pair that I can form is with the seven and nine. So we're halfway done. We have four. Remember, we talked about that two to the third power is eight, so we should have a total of eight. So once you can't make any more sets that are one less than what you originally started with, you would go down to all of the single sets. So three would be a subset of three, seven, and nine. Seven would be a subset. Nine would be a subset. And we always have to include the empty set. So the empty set is always considered a subset of the original set because uh, the empty set does not include any of these numbers, which is always a possibility when you're listing subsets. So a good rule of thumb is to look at however many elements you have, and you would take two to the nth power, so the two to the number of elements that you have to make sure that you have all of them. So we ended up with eight total subsets so we know that we have everything listed. Again, just to restate that like the set three, seven, and seven, three are equal sets. So you don't have to list them twice. We're looking for just the distinct ones. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.